Hey, I'm Danica, and this is Yoga with Danica. Today's practice is yoga to restore your low back. You won't need any props. We're gonna stay very low to the ground. Make your way onto your mat, and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna bring it down onto our backs. With the feet planted on the floor, and then heel toe them away from each other until they're about as wide as your mat letting your knees fall in towards each other. And just for a moment, close your eyes, bring your palms onto your low belly. And I want you to just imagine or bring your awareness down into your low back. We're gonna take three deep breaths, sending our breath all the way down into our low back, remembering that where our attention goes, our energy flows. It's like a magical scientific fact. So imagine each inhale is expanding that space surrounding the low back. And with our feet wide like this and our knees in, we're really giving that sacrum area a lot of space. and blink open the eyes. We're gonna keep the feet where they are, but like a windshield wiper, we're gonna let everything fall over towards the left. So the left knee falls out, right knee falls in. And then do what you can to relax the left outer hip. And then really be intentional with where you're sending your breath here. So we're taking our time with each breath. So we're not in a hurry to get to the next moment, to the next breath, to the next exhale, to the next inhale. We're really taking our time to fill our whole body up, de-stress, calm down, relax and restore our low back. Take one more deep breath in and out here. And then we'll use our next inhale to bring everything back to the center, knees tented in. Pause, take a deep breath in and out. And then allowing the knees to fall to the opposite side, so to the right. Right knee is falling out, left knee is falling in. Relax that right outer hip to the best of your ability. And then be intentional with where you're sending your breath. Keep relaxing that right outer hip. Last deep breath in and out here. Bring it back to the center. And then slowly start to heel toe your feet back towards each other and then bring the knees in towards your body. Hug them in really close. And for most of us, that means our tailbone lifted off the floor. That's cool. But just for curiosity's sake, notice what it feels like to continue hugging your knees in as close as you can, but sending your tailbone long towards the ground. And it might not meet the ground, but it's our intention that we're sending it that way. And that just is offering a different sensation or a different stretch to our outer hips, our glutes, and our low back. It's... It's not better or worse than anything else, just different. So you can see what feels good for you. Either the tailbone extended long is a new sensation that you need, or it doesn't feel as good as hugging the knees in with no regard to the tailbone at all.
bring the palms onto the knees and keep hugging the knees in towards each other. And we're just gonna take the knees away from the body and then back in towards the body. So here we really do want the tailbone to meet the floor and then lift back up as you bring your knees in so that we're allowing the floor to sort of massage our low backs. And then the next time that you draw your knees in towards the body, pause for a moment. We're gonna take the knees around in a circle, so bringing them over to the right and then away from us around over to the left and then back in towards the body. So a couple circles in this direction. And you can really let your hips sway from side to side here. So again, this is all about massaging the low back with the floor. Next time your knees come in, go ahead and reverse the direction. But keep the knees sort of glued together. And then bring it back in. Hug the knees in really tight. Take one deep breath in and out. And then place the feet back down on the ground and extend the legs long. So if you can, try to slide your hands underneath your low back. And just notice how much space there is between the floor and the low back without judgment. So for this next exercise, I want you to bring your fingertips to your navel, draw your navel down in towards your spine, and then press the spine down towards the ground of the navel to the low back. So there's very minimal space between the ground and your low back. Bend the knees. That'll likely help take a little bit more space away. So we're gonna maintain this level of engagement in the core, but draw the right knee in towards the body, and you have a couple options with the left leg. You can extend it out long on the floor, pointing the toes away from you, or you can hover it off of the floor a couple inches, or you can bring it more towards a 45 degree angle out away from you. But try to stay engaged in that foot that's in the air pointing the toes or flexing the feet if that feels better for you. And then draw the right knee in towards the body. Press the core down, press the spine down in, in, in towards the floor. Just working on core stability here, because I know you know that if we don't have stability in our core, our low back is doing all the heavy lifting. So we have to practice core work, even just a little bit, even just like a minute a day of core work. So keep breathing here. Keep staying engaged in that core. Notice if you can feel your body beginning to tremble, maybe just a little bit. And then bring the left knee in. Choose what version you want to take with the right leg. You can have it down on the ground, hover it over the ground, or a 45 degree angle. Stay engaged with that right foot though and press the navel down into the ground. And maybe this is a super simple exercise for you, and that's great. But maybe it isn't. That's also great, because you're here, you're doing it. Keep breathing. And then without judgment, you're just noticing when you begin to lose that engagement in your core. And that's fine, just bring it back. Draw the navel in, push the navel down towards the ground. And then we're gonna start to pulse here. So switching legs, sending the left leg out, bring the right knee in, left knee in, right leg out. Stay engaged in the core. Try to keep the knees in towards the midline of the body so they're not flaying out to the side. I don't know if flaying is a word, but that's where, I, that's where I went. And we'll just do five more reps. Five. Four. 
Press the navel down three. Press the navel down two. Last one. And then hug it all in. Rock from side to side. Feel what you feel, notice what you notice. And then place the feet back down on the floor. We're gonna cross the left heel, the left ankle over the right knee. And you can stay here and just push the left knee away from the body. And try, just try to remain engaged in the core here as well. If you wanna take it a bit further, you can interlace the fingers behind the right thigh. And you're just gently pressing that left knee away from you with your left elbow as you draw the right thigh in towards your body to whatever degree feels good for you today. So just noticing how it changes the pose to completely let go of the core and then to again press the navel towards the spine and the spine towards the ground. Does that change the pose for you at all? Go ahead and extend that right foot up towards the sky and then we're just gonna point and flex the foot a few times. and circle out the ankle in both directions. And release that leg down and then just for one deep breath, draw the right knee in a little bit further, press the left knee out a little bit further. It might be half a centimeter, deep breath in. And as you exhale, you can release the shape Switching sides, left, right ankle crosses over the left knee. You can stay here or interlace the fingers behind the left thigh, draw the left knee in and press the right knee away. The side feels different for all of us in some way than the previous side. Notice your core engagement without judgment. Extend the left leg long, point and flex the toes. Circle out the ankle. Notice the core engagement as you release and bend that left knee again. And then just for one breath, draw the left knee in a little bit closer, press the right knee away from you a little bit further. Deep breath in and out. And then release the shape. Bring the feet to the floor, hips width distance apart. And then we're gonna press down into the feet, lifting the hips up towards the sky, and then lower them down. Two more times, lifting up and lower down. Lifting up and lower down. And then last time we're gonna lift up and hold. Walk the shoulders underneath the body Keep the hands planted on the floor, pressing down through the forearms, and then bring your chin just a little bit away from your chest. So you're pressing down through the back top part of your head, the top part of the back of your head. <laughs> Keep drawing the knees in towards the midline of your body. Deep breath in. Come up onto your tippy toes. Walk the shoulders out from underneath your body and then vertebrae by vertebrae, very slowly lower down. 
The tailbone will be the very last thing to hit. Take your time. And then once you're there, draw the knees in towards your body again. We're going to bring both knees over towards the left, stacked on top of each other, and then extending the right arm back out behind you. Just coming into a little supine twist. Our goal is for our hips to be stacked on top of each other. And then for our upper back to lie flat across the floor. But it's okay if that's not where you are right away. Just take a couple of breaths, allowing your body to soften into the shape. Remembering that intentional breath, sending it to where you need it, where you're feeling the most sensation. Taking your time with each breath. Last deep breath here. And then bring the knees back up towards the center. Hug them in, take a deep breath in and out, just neutralizing the spine. And then bring the knees over towards the right. Extending the left arm back behind you. Trying to stack those hips on top of each other. And then our goal is for both shoulders to be on the ground. Left palm facing up. But no sweat if that's not where you are right away. Send your breath where you need it, where you feel the most restricted where you feel the most sensation. Try to send it all the way down into the low back, low belly, hips. Can you let your belly be soft here? And really allow it to expand. One last slow, intentional breath here, in and out. And then we'll lift our knees back up to the center, hug them in, take a breath in and out. And then release the feet down, extend the legs long, coming just into your final resting pose. And then bring your feet just a little bit wider than the hips and let the toes just sprawl out, completely release any engagement you got. You can bring your hands onto your belly, relax your shoulders towards the floor, soften the face and close the eyes. Take a deep breath in and slow breath out. You can bring your palms to touch at the heart, sealing the practice. Thank you so much for being here with me and sharing your practice with me. It really means a lot. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.